Hey guys, it's Boy Creepers, and welcome back to my Liverpool Core Mode, where the last time I left off, played two who games, and I also showed you guys how the squad was going on with a squad report. In this episode, I, I believe, match against Nottingham Forest, who, in my Core Mode, have obviously sent at some point were promoted from the championship and I also have a Champions League game against Sparta Moscow. Ooh, I'm not sure if that one's come all the way. This one is a way though, so I'm travelling to Nordium to face Forest. Um should be interesting. I think they just got promoted because I don't remember them. Yeah they weren't in the they weren't here last season, so they must have just got promoted. Other than that, I have a freaking terrible memory, which that could be the case as well. So, but I don't remember facing Forest last year, well, last season. I mean, Forest are always one of those teams that you always see near the top of the table, so you know. It doesn't really surprise me that they've finally got promoted, you know. I think they'll, they're always one of the um, teams that are one of the favourites to go up almost every single year uh, since, they were the, since they last went down in a few seasons ago. Should be interesting. Uh, I'll see. Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah. Team with the work. Uh, um, the work ethic that uh, Nottingham Forest have there. The players are very determined to get the team back into the Premier League. He, he, even when they change their players, they always seem to try their best and they're always they're around there, you know. I remember like it was uh, last season or season four, they were actually really close but they fell away for some reason. I don't know why. Uh I'm trying to remember I think that was the season four. I think that was the season QPR got promoted. So uh, that was the season four. I think it was anyway. Could be wrong on that, but I know Recently, in real life, they were close to being promoted, and something went wrong. Maybe they got, maybe they were unlucky with injuries. That could be the case, you know. Injuries are very easy to pick up, you know, especially in real life. Uh, Liverpool's, I know, I know Liverpool seasons. Season could have been way different if we had Daniel Sturridge fit all season. You know, we might not have had a has a had a bad of a season. I don't know what he could have done to prevent the trashing at Stoke, but you know that's you know, that's that's more down to Brendan Rodgers his uh, bad defending than it was to our striking options. Which on that day we didn't actually play a striker, so well, maybe it was down to our striking options being zero. Now, I'm not I'm not here to talk about that, you know it, whether they are recently promoted or they have been here for a while, then you know it's good to see them back in the Premier League. Uh, I think it was two thousand two was it? It's been a while since they went back down to the championship. I know they did get promoted a few years ago, but they almost I think they went straight back down unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, we looking to uh, stay up this season without a doubt. So, 
that's really the goal for any promoted club is to goal number one is to stay up and goal number two would probably be to uh, finish as high as you can I would think I think especially if you've just been promoted like uh, like in real life uh, the teams that were uh, up now are Norwich are back, uh, Bournemouth are up and um, I'm forgetting the other team Oh, I'm really, really sorry. I cannot remember who the other team is. No, it's not me. No, 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 no. I do not remember the name. Who is it? No Bournemouth and Norwich. Where's the other team? Oh my god, this is going to be wrecking my head all day. Oh, I can't believe I'm not going to forget it. I'm really sorry. You, the fans of that club are probably shouting their name. It's like, uh... Oh, Watford! Watford! That's it. Watford. I'm really sorry, Watford fans. I'm some reason could not remember. Don't know why, I just could not remember. But yeah, Watford. Watford actually back up because they were up in there. Actually, Watford were up the same year as Chris. Uh, not Chris Palace, uh, not even Forest were up, weren't they? No, they. They are work. They are came up before together. Did Forest and Watford actually. And, uh, I think they actually both went down the same year as well. But you know, between the uh, three teams, well, I haven't seen any moves from Norwich, but Bournemouth and uh, and Watford are really sticking in. They're they're like they are spending money to just say, you know, what we're not going to be pushed around by the big teams. We're going to spend as much money as we can to stay in this, to stay up. We are not, we want to reckon, be recognised as a regular um, regular Premier League team. Um, Bournemouth have signed um, Means as well as they signed um, Burch on a permanent deal because he was on loan there last season. Um, I think they did some other deals as well. Um, oh yeah, they got Atsu. They got uh, Atsu on loan from Chelsea, didn't they? Yeah, they got Atsu on loan from Chelsea, as well as uh, Joshua King. From Blackburn and uh, Adam Federici from from, uh, from Reading. So they've made some decent signings. Uh, Watford have broken their own tra their transfer record. They spent seven million on um I don't know how to pronounce the player's name. I know the player. But I do not know how to pronounce his name. I'm really, really sorry. Hang on here. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can pronounce it. But I'm not going to promise you guys anything. You know, you know how bad I am at names. Okay, let's just. Perotti. Perotti. That's, that's probably wrong. I'm really sorry if it is. Uh, I'm trying my best, you know. Uh, I think he's I think he's a central attacking mid or a winger. It's one of those anyway. I think so anyway. Um, you know, seven million 
Seems like a little decent player for Watford. Uh, don't know much about him, but uh, if they're paying seven million for him, they must think he is going to do them uh, well. They've already, and they've also got Mota, Mota, Marco Mota from Juve. So they signed a player from the Champions League runners up. So you know that that shows some intent. Uh, I have no idea who he is, never even seen him play for Juventus, but it says right here that he played for Juventus and now he has gone off. He joined from Juventus on a free, so there you go. So, as a card, he makes 2 0. Well, I'm just going to quickly check to see what business, if any, that Norwich have done, just so I don't leave the canaries out. One person who be devastated he's not in the Premiership next season to meet good old Norwich will be Luis Suarez. You know, you know he's gonna miss playing against Norwich. You know I mean, he, he couldn't stop scoring against them. <laughs> um. That's probably the only thing he'll he'll miss of that. Of uh, playing for Liverpool. And uh Norch have made according to Sky Sports um you know, they've made two confirmed transfers at the moment. Anthony Andreu from Hamilton and Graham Dor Dornans Dornans from West Brom. So obviously he you know it's uh both these are undisclosed so obviously they're they've spent money as well so it's not free transfers. Uh, it's very easy getting free transfers as Liverpool venturing pretty much this so I, oh, I I know we did spend money on uh, Roberto Firmino, who I'll talk about in just a minute. Probably, uh, probably. Um, you know, it, it's good to see the he promoted clubs doing their business, saying we will not be pushed up by the big big clubs. But we're going to fight for our right. To be in the Premier League, we're going to prove we belong, and that's that's what there are. The uh, likes of Watford spending uh, seven million on that her OT guy, he is telling me he, that they're they're determined to um to uh. To, to stay in the Premier League, and I have no idea what player is returning from injury. Don't remember any players being injured. I guess we'll find out in just a second to see who it is. Oh, the Porte, of course. The Porte. Oh, no. Yeah, Chambers. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. No, scuff it. You can't leave. No, you're not allowed to leave. Hang on a second, I have to, uh, I have to put a stop to this right now. Self player. Uh, scuff it. I can't afford to let Scuff it go. Especially with Ram. It's not ready to be my number two. And still actually out of loan, so. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no option to block 
uh, thing. There's no office in the book. Is um the thing the uh, transfer bits. Well, we're in October, so surely, surely I can convince him to stay by the time the January transfer window comes around. And stuff is really grown a lot. I mean, he was a seventy rate goalkeeper when I first got him. So yeah, he got eight now. Anyway. On to uh, Spartak Moscow we go, and we're going to Russia, so we are going to Russia. Yep. Strip down memory lane, if you guys don't know, I did a uh, secondary career mod with Spartak Moscow, so... If they, if... This is one of the things uh, I would love to see in FIFA 16, or definitely a future FIFA, if not FIFA 16. Is like the game remembering you doing a career mode. So, say like right here, if the game knows, if the game has some recollection, has re recognizes, okay, he's done a career mode with this team before. Maybe the team has some welcome back banner or something for that, you know. Just, just, just a thought, you know. It'd be nice to be recognized for what I did for this club because I took him to the the title. Oh. Oh. And the Russian Cup. And I think he, I, yeah, I, I won the Europa League with them as well, so. so there is that. I did a lot for this club and because the game. He doesn't know. The game doesn't remember me he being their the manager. And uh wait, what's going on? Oh a free kick. Okay, um I'll take it. Not sure what happened. Must have missed the foul. Um, let's see, who goes with the kick? Let's see. Hey who got the best one? Go on. Hit it for Sweden! Damn it! <laughs> Sweden's very disappointed with you! Oh, you didn't hit it for him! He's still a very good player, is uh, this one. I know I'm probably saying his name wrong, but. It, it's not like I'm known for my. <laughs> Correct pronunciation. Point. Or he somehow we freaking um I think that was Wilmot who missed it. One minute. Okay. Addison is now fouling my own players. <laughs> Just a what Oh for God's sake! You know what best thing needs to happen? And thanks Tom. My team needed that refresh. That offside, best thing that happened so far in this game. Oh. Oh no! Yes! Oh, they fucked up! Thank goodness. I thought my touch. That first touch error would have freaking crucified me. But luckily, he recovered. Yes! Oh, freaking Mari! Romanio! Who is a solid player, I know from experience, as I said before. That's what I Okay. Oh, god damn it! Get out of the way! <laughs> Freaking solid player, yes, yeah, pain in the ass, yes. Oh, this one! It's probably going to be a yellow card for that. Put it back in. Oh no 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 no. Spray is completely out of position. Yes. Good. Good. Am I s good? I'm good. Yes. No. Someone put the ball in the net. One minute. Ah, oh, why didn't you shoot it with your leg? Why did you header it? 
Well, it's like five and five, and he freaking ahead does it. Brilliant idea. Tyson, what in the name of the good lord was that? What kind of shit was that? Oh, that was terrible. Should not have hit that first time. Oh, I can't believe I made that mistake. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> That's going to be a yellow card. Yes, Marino, you can get that. Yes, Marino. Yes. Go on, Mitt. Come on. Ah, son of a... Marino. Yes, Burnett. Yes, Burnett. To, um, to that guy, yeah, that guy, goal for that guy. <laughs> I don't know. How to, oh, Luciano. Oh, hey, he's a Luciano as well. I thought that Italian guy, you know, my bench was Luciano. Huh. You see, I was right. He did get your card for that battle earlier. That was a fair challenge. That was a fair challenge. I won the ball. Uh, that could have been. That should have been two 0 That would have been two 0 Well, keeper might have saved it, but I would have definitely been true on goal to make it two 0 Yes, I might get my chance now. Yes, I son. To win it. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Ball comes to Moreno, shoot! I think that's a goal kick. That was a, oh, is it a corner? Oh, it's a corner. Boy, I thought I hit my own player. Okay. That's on. Hey, that son. That's the half time we saw. I missed anyway. Freaking hell. Couldn't even score when the keeper wasn't even trying to save it. Freaking hell. Man. Um, I guess I almost forgot that I said uh, talk more in depth about uh, the signing of Firmino and the uh, possible incoming. Uh, the sign of Klein. Now, um, I was gonna make a video on the uh, on us being close to sign Klein, but I then decided against it because, you know, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't really. I couldn't think of. How I felt about it, you know, the, there is two ways of looking at it. Yes, it's another player from Southampton, but look at it this way. Now, I don't know if, if anybody else is looking at it this way, but if we do sign Klein, which uh, I think is right now is just down to a medical, which is set to happen next week for some reason. Why not this week? 
I have no idea. Uh, maybe you have, maybe there's a limit to doing one medical per week or something. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know why are they waiting. Maybe maybe it's the uh, maybe Liverpool medical team are still in freaking uh, South America. We know they were in South America to to do the Firmino medical. Well, someone did the medical and you know it was done. Uh, why Klein's deal is not being done, why his medical is not being done yet, uh, I no yet. Makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, uh, to be honest, uh, there are, like I said, there's two ways to look at the Klein deal. Yes, one, one is the bad side. And the bad side is, he's another Southampton player, we've not had the best of luck. You know, we're signing another Southampton player in general. Well, you know, basically Ben Rodgers is saying, oh, it didn't work last summer, let's try again. And don't worry, boys, I'm sure we won't have the same problems again. Um, and I'm listening here, like, are you serious? What the hell are you doing? I th I thought about it, and I personally think it's more for Lovren, because Klein is a really good player, and Klein played with Lovren in the season in, in the season before we signed Lovren. And Lovren and Klein were pretty much playing on that right hand side right next to each other all season long and what I think it is is not only are we signing someone who is a decent right back you know it can't be argued that he is a decent uh, player is Klein in and should we be signing another Southampton player no but we are but Is there a pro to it? Yes. Maybe, just maybe, he will get Lovren playing the way he was playing at Southampton. Because if we get the same Lovren who did really well for Southampton the season before we signed him, then uh, we could definitely have a solid backline. Him and Skirtle. Oh. Because Sacco is useless and Brendan Rogers refuses to acknowledge that Emery Chad is actually a centre back. So him and Skirtle are realistically our best our best choices in terms of centre backs. Unless Brendan Rogers wants to do the crazy idea I had last season and play Skirtle and Torre. He when Torrey was playing fantastic and couldn't do it wrong because he played fantastic last season. And if you, you know, and of course you all know I was I was critical of Torrey the season before, well, but he really turned it on this season. You know, he was probably our best defender this season. You know, he. He really made a difference, especially in the Real Madrid game. You know, he was so, so really, he was really solid in the Real Madrid game, and it was really down to Torre and him being so solid in that match that we didn't lose by an embarrassing scoreline. I don't, you know. Then Torre went away on, on international duty, and when he came back, Brent Rogers almost seemed to think, okay, he doesn't exist anymore. No, just forget that and leave him sit on the bench. I think he may have made some substitute he made some substitute appearances, but I don't understand why he did not play Torre more. It really, really does not make 
any sort of sense. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm crazy. And, maybe Tori just had a good season after having a bad one. Maybe Lovren will have a good season this year. Maybe Sacco will prove us all wrong and have the best season any centre back has ever had. Who knows? No? Who freaking knows? Do any of us know? Not really. But. Contracts. I was in, I was in the wrong freaking. No, second time. Uh, do any of us know what's going to happen next season? Uh, no, we don't. Because we can't tell the future. Can Liverpool get top four next season? Realistically, if we have a good season, then yes, we can. But if we have a bad season, then we won't. It's down to that, really. And, you know, whether you like us or you don't, Liverpool will definitely... Obviously, Rodgers is thinking, okay, I have to do well this season or my job is gone. He knows who's that freaking, uh, that uh, Jurgen Klopp is just chilling wherever he's having his, his holiday. He's just chilling, waiting for the phone to ring in and on the other line. And someone telling him that he's the new manager of the club. That's what club is waiting for. He is waiting for a job in England. And realistically, if Rodgers gets sacked, and if Rod, which he will if he has a bad start to the season, then club will be the person to take over because City are waiting on. Mm, um, are waiting on um, Guardiola and uh, United just got Louis van Gaal so they're not going to replace him and Mourinho is not going to be leaving Chelsea anytime soon so the only realistic other choice for Klopp if he's going to go to a real top tier team would be Arsenal or he could go to Arsenal to replace Wenger or Liverpool. Oh. Oh. So um I know I know I left out uh, someone like Spurs but I don't know how well he'd get on with freaking Danny Levy. And saying that we don't exactly have the best uh, board in football now do we? Anyway, I guess it's all down to what happens on the pitch. And we won't know what happens on the pitch until the football starts again. But the football in this video has is unfortunately come to an end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave in the comment section below. Do you think can Liverpool get top four well, this up and coming season? Realistically, you yeah. know. If, if you think yes, then say yes and tell me why. And if you think no, say no and tell me why. And be, and be. Be genuine, okay? Don't let your personal feelings... You know, if, if you're a Man United fan, don't say oh, they, that Liverpool don't deserve to be in the top four. They don't deserve to be in the same league as us. If you're a United fan, don't. Be nice. Be nice. Or I will bang you. Until next time, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.